Well, because of I'm having problems with uh, YouTube processing my videos for some reason or other, the same problem I had a, about a year or so ago, upload goes fine, but um, apparently uh, it can't deal with the larger file size, which isn't all that big. But anyways, uh, this is episode five of uh, the Gen House project, and unfortunately I'm going to have to reconvert, re-edit this and convert it to a lower quality, smaller file size MP4 format. I have no choice. So I hope you enjoy the project. Thank you very much. As I said, I'll make the necessary holes and ventilation uh, for the air intake and so forth. This still is going to be quite a few inches away from the base. In other words, uh, there'll be air going underneath, but I still need uh, ventilation up through here. The main thing is you have to keep the, the rain out of it when it's, you got a storm and you got blowing rain and so forth. flip this over on its back and I'll put the um, uh, edges on it, the corners. Drill two holes and can screw the top in first because the plywood has to overlap the proper way. Now this plywood overlaps this one. I have to make sure we're, we got, we're done by right here. Charge eight cents a piece to do the tiny markers. The local hardware store has a lot of things, but they're a little on the pricey side. But 
then what is a nowadays? We're just, we're, we're just using small half inch machine screws and a um, little washer. Nothing fancy. We put them in hand tight first and uh, talk them up after the after get lined up here. Good for now, just to make sure that we're lined up. Put that one in first. Put the nut on. We can tighten this one up. We can tighten this up fully. Okay. Now we just gotta put one more in the bottom here. do that off camera because we're taking an awful lot of video here. Well, you'll take a look inside here. You can see where I got it. You know, these are half inch screws. Quarter inch Luan, but it's actually thinner than that. I might have to go to uh, half inch screws. I might have to go to uh, three eighths if they have them, or even quarter. Because these might get in the way of the two by four framing when I go to close this down. I'm not 100% sure yet. I could probably cut these tips off here with a bolt cutter, but I don't know if that'll help. Well, anyways, I got to do that side there, so you see me do one. Now, this stuff here worked out pretty good. Yep. Cut another piece for that side. Okay, I just got it laying on there. I have to go and buy the hinges yet. It's going to be a little while before I'll be able to do that. I got to paint the sides, and of course, I got to paint the top. Sides will be painted redwood. The top I'll paint another coat of that oil base on there. As you can see over by the left there, that's where the muffler would go. That definitely clearance. I just kind of like made some curves in it and everything so you can get some ventilation in there and stuff. I have to still drill ventilation holes up on the very top in this area here. The other side, I got to make a large uh, vent for the air intake. Should be enough, anyways, but just to make sure. And on the front over here, don't really need any um, ventilation there. That's where the control panel is, and that will be covered up quite well. So uh, we should get, as you can see, it's not, you know, right down to the uh, the base. There's plenty of room there for air to get circulation around. 